Hi, I'm Colin Frosty Morning and I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube about settings for FSX. Now, a lot of these can be system specific, um, obviously because everyone's got a different system usually. Um, and we want to make the most of FSX. Um, a lot of people go back to FS9 and things like that. So I just want to show you what I'm running personally because a few people have asked me what I'm doing. And I've got quite a popular um, chip. It's the Intel Quad Core 6600, 2.4 GHz, and it's not overclocked at all. Um, I've also got a very standard run the mill graphics card as well. I've got an 8600 GT graphics card, um, 256 megabytes. It's not the best card in the world it's quite old now as well but I have got the latest Nvidia drivers now people have, uh, have asked me um, kind of what frame rate I've been getting I've been getting between 60 and 107 frames per second and this is purely on an un a standard unclock system as I said I just um, I've been running it in Vista 32 I've got 3 gig of RAM so let's have a look at my settings okay so uh, this is the settings window as you can see in FSX um, you'll notice here that I haven't really used the presets a lot I've, I've customized quite a lot of settings and this is um, through other various tutorials that I've watched and to be honest with you it's mainly for me just trialing um, the, the settings that I've chosen out to get the best for my system but if you're running Vista 32 you've got 2 gig 3 gig of RAM maybe um, and you've got an average video card then I would suggest that these settings may work for you. Um, Vista uh, FSX, sorry, doesn't actually support multi-core processors. So, if you even if you've just got, you know, a dual core or something like that in there, then it's not going to make that much difference because FSX isn't going to be using as much as it could do anyway. So graphics are on custom. The overall graphics, um, aircraft's on very low, but you'll see why in a second. Um, it doesn't actually reduce the quality of the aircraft, so you'll you'll see what I mean. Scenery custom, I've got a few custom add-on packs, but that's nothing to do with this setting. Um, weather's on custom, you'll see why in a second, and obviously the traffic's on custom. I run with Traffic X, um, which is you know an all right traffic uh, bit of software. Traffic does cause a drop in FPS um, in Flight Simulator 10, but you'll see with these settings as there is a way a happy medium if you like to get that working so we'll uh, we'll have a look in more detail then at each one so for those of you that don't know how to get into the settings menu it's pretty straightforward I'll explain to you anyway um, as you can see here you've got the uh, side menu bar you usually come in in like home or free flight or something just click on the settings um, column here this will bring you into this lovely area here. Click on customize to customize your settings and we'll start having a look at exactly what I've got. Okay, so we're in the first tab here, we're in the graphics tab and you can actually see there Nvidia GeForce 80600 GT graphics card. You notice that I've set my target frame rate to unlimited. Now this obviously doesn't restrict it in any way whatsoever. Um, it puts it right up so your computer in theory isn't actually you know achieving under what it could be a lot of people say that putting the target frame rate to unlimited can you know put more stress on your system well I haven't found that at all um, and it's actually helped me if I'd have restricted it at 30 40 what other people you know other people were suggesting I wouldn't have got say 107 frame rates when flying over Columbia the other day for just for example um, looking at my screen resolution uh, it's really up to you kind of how how um, sharp etc things you want. I use a Samsung monitor, it's quite a sharp monitor so I like to have it up on the 1280-1024. That's as maximum as I can really go as well on my uh, graphics card so it really does depend what your graphics card supports but you'll see it there in this menu. Now the filtering, to be fair, I don't know too much about the filtering, however there are uh, four options. Obviously you've got the four here as you can see. I usually have it on um, this last one and as a tropic, uh, it it's been the best one that's worked for me. Again, just because I don't know about them, uh, I've just tried each one out, and I found that this one has worked um, good for me. Uh, the anti-aliasing, uh, you know, box here I keep unchecked just because that does kind of starve FPS a little bit. Um, so let's look here. Global options now. FSX, one of the main highlights of it is the fact that it does actually provide really good textures compared to FS9. Now people 
uh, do debate you know what's better I'm not getting into all that I'm just talking about FSX um, and I'm going to stick with this on very high um, just because you know I've got FSX because I want to have some good graphics and I also want to en enjoy flying uh, in a simulator. Preview DirectX 10 I keep this off because some add-on aircraft do not support DirectX 10 so I don't bother with that. Lens flare again and light bloom keep them unchecked they will eat up your resources and they will cause your um, frame rates to drop considerably and advanced animations these are things like jetways um, you know wing flex things like that keep that ticked because obviously that you know it's a realism setting you you want that on it's going to encourage you know to bring out the features in flight simulator informational text that's just like when you tune into airport frequencies things like that that give you information you can have it as a single line up or you can have it continuously scrolling across the uh, screen i usually keep that on continuous okay so now we've had a look at the graphics and the global options let's go to the aircraft tab just click on that at the top there now remember I said that I had my aircraft um, settings on very low you can see it there in the menu very low now the reason why I've got this on very low is not because I want to lose any quality in my actual aircraft what this actually means is I've turned down a few of the vital I say vital uh, kind of realism effects um, so we can we can have a look here. This cockpit settings, they should all stay the same to be honest. Um, 3D virtual cockpit is my default view, so when my plane loads up, I load into the 3D virtual cockpit. If your plane hasn't got a 3D virtual cockpit, um, it will load with its 2D instrument panel anyway, it will just override that. Um, show cockpit tooltips, you can see it's, tech, um, it's ticked, that's because it will show you things like um, your landing gear is still down or whatever you get oh, I mean like idiot kind of tips really um, I don't usually have this on so I'm going to uncheck that uh, higher resolution 3D virtual cockpit that's good for like photo real cockpits so you see like these photo real graphics um, it is really good I like it so I leave that ticked um, exterior settings now this is important now this is where your frame rates will benefit um, Aircraft cast shadows on the ground, so you can obviously get what that means. It's the shadow that's cast between when the sun shines on the aircraft and the wings put a shadow on the ground, etc. Now, I leave that unticked. Do not tick that because shadows, like in any game, actually, not just FSX, will eat up the frame rates and slow your system down quite a lot. Aircraft casts shadows on itself. Well, that's self-explanatory. Leave that unticked again. Because it's a shadow, it will um, reduce your frame rates per second. Now, if you're out in the middle of nowhere, to be honest, you can have these on and probably get away with it. But if you're in a built-up area, this doesn't just mean your aircraft. This means every aircraft that's around you. So when you think about that, let's say you, you know, you're at Heathrow and you've got 50 other aircraft around you, and they're all producing shadows that will kill your frame rates per second. I've had instances where I've been on with them on before when I've been trying out settings and I've got two frame rates per second even on my system and it is a nightmare trust me. Aircraft landing lights illuminate on the ground. Now obviously you're only going to see this benefit of a night time of night flying. Now I don't usually have this on but recently I've been trying a few things out it hasn't really made any difference to my frame rate so again you can try that see how you get on with it but for me it works fine let's move on to the next tab scenery <laughs> 